It's time to go back out in LA. Today I'm going to a VW and camper meet uh, hosted by Camper Can Tom at Midstone Hall in Tamworth. Uh, it's my first time over to Tamworth, never been before, so somewhere new. It was a little bit of a last minute decision because it was very, very showery yesterday, so I wasn't sure whether I was going to come out or not today. So I am running late. I'm going to go and get my uh, van washed now quickly before I head over to Tamworth. Apologise, I think it's going to be a little bit windy, so there may be a little bit of wind noise. I am trying to keep it down as much as possible. There may be a few more extra little music clips, but I'm going to try and uh, try and solve it over the next like few months. I'm trying to invest in some new microphones, so... Hopefully the uh, wind buff will go down soon. I have put some little foams over the microphone, so hopefully it will help a little bit. Um, so let's uh, head over to the petrol station now, go give it a quick jet wash over and some petrol, and then we'll head over to town. So I've just arrived now at Middleton Hall and I've just been given a free can of fruit cider. The people who are running this own a company called Camper Can, and uh, they're giving everyone a free cider as they come in. Shout out to Camper Can. Camper can create in memories fruit cider. See, we'll not be drinking that until I get there home. She is all part of next to a beetle. Let's head into uh, the site. So, Midstone Hall's having some work done at the moment, uh, ready for the summer season. As we look down. We've got a lovely ID bus. What's the Roman Radfords? They've just purchased one of these and they're currently converting it to a camper van and hopefully they're going to be bringing it to the Van Life Festival so I will try and uh, get a bit of footage of that when, uh, when I get to Van Life Festival at the end of May. They're uh, quite cool, fully well EV. Line up. Nice T6. These are more still arriving. A few nice Porsches. They're cool awesome. with the pop top. They've got all little decorate for Easter. Like this in the uh, two tone, the pink and the white. A lovely spit screen. It's currently for sale. I'll try and get a peep inside in a sec. Oh, it's done out really nice inside. It's got like a surfboard table. And then you've got your chair, which I'm guessing falls out into the bed. And then you've got a full kitchen unit, fridge. Not the early JDM car today, there's a Toyota Alphard. And it is camp converted because I can see the uh, electric hook up on the back. The beautiful split screen coming in. GT3 RS. I guess this is probably the most expensive car is today. Got all the carbon weave at the front. That's stunning. Got the wing on that. So we've got a T2 and a split screen. It looks so nice together. Got a nice beetle down here. So we've got a nice T6 there in the blue. Got its bonnet cover on this one. Been to a fair few shows. Do the North Coast 500. Campo with the uh, pop top. Next to it, we've got one of the uh, newer Beatles. Well, say newer, 02. Not exactly new anymore, it's 20, 22 years old. Got another one coming in. Nice. I thought that there wasn't going to be much more coming in now because like, I was quite late arriving. But there's still, uh, still quite a few. And got a nice, it's a nice colour, isn't it? That's like a longer wheelbase. The uh, pop top. Nice. Some of the new ones, 22. Nice red one. And again, it's not just VWs here, Transit, Camper. 
a stunning building, the Middleton Hall. The Middleton Hall is set on some beautiful surroundings. I will try and show you a few little bits and bobs as I go around. But um, one of the days I might come back here and just go around Middleton Hall and just show you it properly because it's on a beautiful setting by the lake quickly. Try and get a drone eventually, just one of the mini ones, just so I can take it up and show you over the top of places like this. I think it'd be real beneficial. Nice purple caddy. Thanks, this T5. It's a really nice, interesting beetle. T6 with the pop top. Good day, a few T5s. Well, I've just bought something down here. It's a really nice crafter van. I do love the crafters. If I was to do like a big van conversion, this would be one of the vans that I'll consider. It's got like a flake paint job to this. It's a Raptor paint, it's like really textured. T4. It's got his uh, Batman bits and bobs. Really nice T2 arriving, nice yellow. little cars VW up GTI so I believe they still have the one litre uh, three cylinder engine and I think they're turbocharged I think they're around 115 horsepower which is quite a bit for a small car like this probably weighs about the same as me Ago. got a nice T5 on the air ride there's a couple of air ride vehicles here today I'll show you another one in a minute which is over the other side but they've got um, music playing by it so I'm just watching out for the copyright on it but there is another air ride around the corner. One right next to it. These are really nice vans. Very expensive. I've seen these at the uh, at the Caravan Camping Show. It's the California VW Beach. Bit of a stall section. It's got fishmongers. So everyone's uh, selling stuff down here. Some merch. Hats, cushions, I've oh, got like jewellery bits and bobs. He's like infusers. And then this one I think is uh, just a show van. And then you've got this food. Quite an interesting set to actually inside this van. It's got like bunk beds on the side, which is really cool. So you get kitchen on the right hand side, and then you've got bunk beds here. And then you've got two uh, passenger seats, little table, and then you've got captain swivel chairs at the front. The Ducato. One of the buildings of Middleton Hall. Going through to the courtyard. Split drinks, which is one of the sponsors. We've got some little independent stalls. We've got like a busker plane. You've got a coffee shop over here, this little store. Some of the camper cans. Let's get the fruit cider which we got as we come in. Different range of gins. Sorry, they're coming through the window, which is sort of really interesting. Got all the different aisles. There we go, split drinks. So we see these guys a lot at the different van festivals. Looking forward to trying that when we get back. Here's the one that's on air ride, which just loaded down. Just arrived to RS3. These are very, very quick. Very quick. My favourites are the uh, modern hot chairs, the RS3. Nice 
paddy van. A little setup in the back, like a little micro camper. I love it, it's awesome. So he's got like his bed here, and he's got some little side out drawers. He's got his uh, tap going into his um, water container. Same tap as what I've got. He's got all his little storage with some bobs and his pictures. He's just done it really nice. Oh, he's at Rustville as well. That was the last show that I went to, Rustville. It's really nice. Before I got Ellie, I was going to get like a Citroen Berlingo van and do something similar to this, just like a little micro camper setup. I'd actually still love to do this. Obviously, the fuel economy is not the best on Ellie to be doing like regular weekly trips, weekly trips out like to long distances. So, I think something like this or a Citroen Berlingo would be ideal to have <coughs> alongside Ellie for doing like those uh, extra journeys in, during the week. This one's a high top, it's got the permanent top, not the pop top. These give you plenty of room for standing up in inside this uh, T6 camper. <coughs> he's got a swing. He's got his round seating area which falls out into the bed. And then a the kitchen area. It's really nicely done out. Hashtag van life, this T4. It's really nicely done. Great condition. Really well looked after. It's a really nice example of a T4. I think it's a 2003, it's on a pro play at the moment, uh, T4A8 VW, T4 VW Transporter, but I think it's an 03, so it's, uh, it's been really well looked after for each year. The ID was so open now, taking a quick, quick peek. So it's not cam compared this one, it's just got his seat still. We are really plenty cool. of boot space. So you could quite easily convert one of these. They seem a bit slimmer compared to uh, Ellie or one of the transporters. But still enough room. I love this split screen, the red. I used to have a model just like this one. An iconic colour for one of these. Like an all alpaca interior. I'm gonna open up Ellie for a bit so people can have a little side. Let so people can have a little look. She is the best thing I ever bought. Just the joy it gives me. Every single weekend, pretty much now. I have such a good it's time. Like, like this beetle. <laughs> it's a nice Mark 1 Golf. Beautiful. Got a T2 coming in. and a tea from here. So I got there's donuts all in, I got a cream egg donut. How good does that look? Cup of tea of course. So I probably got more of that around my mouth than I did in my belly but that was the best donut I've ever had. Clear play to them. And then I got a cup of tea. I just want to thank you all for all the support so far. I can't believe I'm at over 270 subscribers now. Um, I'm trying to get to that thousand mark. That's my big goal for maybe this year, maybe the start of next year but I want to try and get up to a thousand subscribers if I can. That's my kind of first goal um, your support has been amazing I went from like 30 to 270 in the matter of a few months so it's been really good and I've been really enjoying doing it I've been really enjoying getting out pretty much every weekend to these different events different festivals but loads and loads coming up now loads and loads coming to the summer um, loads of exciting things so yeah just thank you so much for all your support I really really do appreciate it um, so I'm going to pretty much just have a quick look around again and then I'm going to head off. Fantastic little meet that was. So many vans here. I'm just going to go off now to give some more room to some more people coming in. Because uh, there's still vans coming in, I can't believe it. It's like after one o'clock now and there's still vans are coming in. It's on from 11 till 3, so um, it's been a really good day. Camper cans, well done, Tom. He's uh, put on a real good little show here. And I believe he'll be at the Van Life Festival as well in May. So that's uh, 
something to look forward to, there's Ellie in the back. So I'm gonna head off now and uh, see you on the next video. Yeah. See, comment, like and subscribe, it all helps my channel grow. On the way up, just noticed we've got Villa's training ground. Wasn't expecting that.